It's week five of the National Football League, and we'll see Jordan Love. He's your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Packers and the Rams, and it's coming up next. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We're 10 miles south of downtown L.A. As you get a look inside SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. So good to have you with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, Greg Wild. First month of the calendar in the NFL. Had some great games, some finishes that were pretty special. The usual surprises. Now, we hit October, and like you say, this is where the season really gets going. Yeah, doesn't it just feel like on the NFL calendar, every month kind of has its own vibe, right? It's September, but you're starting to figure out how good you are. You don't even know how good your own team is, let alone the rest of the league. But once the calendar page turns to October, things start to become a little bit more clear. We know the contenders. We know the teams that have a long road ahead of them. These October games go a long way to setting the table come playoff time later in the season. Here's Nixon on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season quarterback, but Greg just his second as a starter, waited his turn, and had a really good first year as a starter. Last week's performance, Mike, probably when you go back and look at it, the thing that stands out the most is just a little bit too inconsistent for their liking. I mean... He found a way to ultimately lead his team to a victory, and that's the biggest thing. But with that said, he has to do a better job of keeping the ball from getting into the wrong hands. He got too careless at times, and they made him pay for it. If he does that here today, he might not get so lucky. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Here's the former Raider. They signed him back in March. It's Josh Jacobs. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. There you get a look at his numbers on the ground a week ago as a part of their victory. Off the play fake. Here's Love. Escaping the danger, throwing and completing. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. A big gainer for Green Bay. 33 yards. Love to throw it on first down. Look at that hit. He slinged it across his body and connected. Here's second and two. Running is Jacobs. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal. Good running. Gets them down to about the four-yard line. Here's a run. And he will power his way into the end zone. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. It's his third touchdown on the year. Zane Gonzalez on for the point after. He's got it. And the Packers will take a 7-0 lead. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. The return starts from the five. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Rams led out by a Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford, second among all active passers in the NFL. Only Aaron Rodgers has thrown for more yards. Hard to believe, Greg, it's already season 16 for the man out of the University of Georgia. They find themselves coming off a win last week that came right down to the end, and the best teams in the NFL, Mike, they can win close games, and they can win different style games. You're not going to blow people out consistently in the NFL. The league is just too good and has too much parity. But the teams that are the best in one-score games, they're often the ones finding themselves in the best position come playoff time. They'll come up now for second down and four. In motion, it's Robinson. On the play fake. 
Here's Stafford. That'll be caught by the running back, Williams. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Out of the gun, Stafford. That'll be taken in. It's to Marcus Robinson. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Now it's Williams. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Try again. It's second and 10. They'll go again with Williams. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six. And it sets up third down. That's the gain of six. Brings up third and three. In motion, it's the tight end, Higby. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there. The sack that might take them out of field goal range. A big loss on the play. Brings up fourth down. So a fourth down, the Rams will send out Ethan Evans to punt. Out to return this for the Packers, it's Keyshawn Nixon. That's going to be out of bounds, no return. And the drive's going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. Now, following the punt return, we have an injured player on the field. First and 10. On play action, Love. Catch is made by Romeo Dobbs. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. We are through one. It's the Packers on top. We're back in Southern California in a moment. run it to the right here with Jacobs and they're going to work this down inside the 45 nice pick up there by Jacobs and I really like this signing this offseason Mike I mean with the departure of Aaron Jones going to Minnesota they know how important that backfield is alongside Jordan Love can he help this Packers offense take that next step forward and certainly done his part so far Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. From the gun, it's Love. That'll be caught. It's Josh Jacobs. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. This is what they call an angle route. And what's so hard for these linebackers is it looks like the running back is just trying to beat you to the flat. And then once you overcommit, he puts his foot down and crosses your face, and he's wide open in the middle of the field. The throw on the run is complete. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike, how well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you... And he's trying to get to the pylon, but won't get there. Mark out right at the line of scrimmage. They'll empty out the backfield as they come up for third and a yard. And he gets to the outside and takes it in. Jordan Love. Touchdown, Green Bay. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. 
This one taken at the seven. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line. The Rams offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They're staring at a two touchdown deficit, 14 0. The score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Atwell sent in motion here. Play action, Stafford. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. So after picking up some positive yardage on first down, they end up going backwards on second. That sack now brings up third and long, and what most of the time is a very pass-happy situation makes them very one-dimensional. He'll let this go. Deep shot for Atwell. That's caught! And he's going to take this one all the way! 78 yards! Touchdown, Los Angeles! When you think back to their first possession of this game, like it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Nixon on the return. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. The Packers offense ready to take over once again. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. Still keeping the legs moving, somehow managing to turn that into a game. Here's a second and nine. Out of the shotgun. It's love. He'll get that complete to Dontavian Wicks. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to our... And he's into the end zone. Romeo Dobbs. Touchdown, Packers. This is a great example here, Mike, of an offense and a quarterback that is just in complete control and rhythm. Not only is he able to deliver this ball on target downfield, but the accuracy is what allows his receiver to stay on his feet, pick up the remaining yards after the catch, and walks it in for a touchdown. Now Gonzalez to add the PAT. He's got it. And the Packers will take a 21-7 lead. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. Set to go now on first and 10. To throw is Stafford. Here's a screen set up to Williams. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. A shotgun snap to Stafford. That's into the hands of the tight end, Tyler Higby. Now the Rams going to use the first of their timeouts. Clock stops with a little under a minute to go in this second quarter. On first and ten, Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. That is caught. It's Robinson. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. Another 
Again, it's Stafford. That's the last year's rookie sensation, Puka Nakua. Go to the line now on second and two. Stafford to throw again. He'll find his tight end in the middle of the field to Tigby. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Hardy's kick is good. And the Rams cut the deficit a bit. The new score is now 21 to 10. So two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. Here comes a return from the end zone. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in this 11-point game as we send you cross-country to the Sunshine State. That's where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. All yours, Coach. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. More from you and Greg in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll start across the Atlantic in London, England, where you see the final score there. J.J. McCarthy, sharp in the victory as his guys bounce back from a tough start to the year to claim victory number one. From there, let's hop over to New England. Check out the Patriots at home in Foxborough. And it was the visiting Dolphins who were able to get the victory. Tua Tungavailoa leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And it was the visiting Carolina Panthers who were victorious in that one. Bryce Young, three touchdown passes as his guys stay unbeaten on the year. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. These two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Both these teams running through their final adjustments. It's time for the second half. And for the call, let's get it back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. The Rams offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. Stafford now on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They run over center with Williams. He'll move this one ahead to the 31-yard line. Corey Ballantyne in on the tackle. Third and nine. Third down and nine. Williams gets it on the draw. And he finds some daylight. Up past the 35-yard line. A pickup of seven. The Rams punching unit coming out. And he is hoping to improve on his first attempt. To return, it's Nixon. That's a nice job of making things more manageable for this offense as he takes it back beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. A good play action with Love. That's caught downfield, Dobbs. 
And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. Well, he had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think, Mike, coming out here for the start of the third, that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. Quick throw, out wide. It's caught. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. First down, Packers. Off the play fake. Here's Love. And he'll take it on in. Romeo Dobbs. Touchdown, Green Bay. So that's his second touchdown of this one. And he's got a half dozen for the year. Gonzalez now for the point after. The kick is good. And the Packers will extend this third quarter lead. Anders Carlson to kick off for the Packers. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. And he's got it at the one. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Rams offense ready to get back at it. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. From the gun, here's Stafford. There's a short one taken in by Higby. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. A good spot here, second and a yard. The motion man is Nakua. That's caught by Puka. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. Third down, three to go. Out of the gun, Stafford. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a second. A big loss on the play. Brings up fourth down. Punt team headed out for the Rams. As this drive went backwards, he's on to kick it away. This one fielded out beyond the 25. Oh, looks like he may have had a seam for a moment, but he's taken down after a solid return. Jordan Love and the rest of the Packer offense ready for their next possession. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Let's go. The man in motion is Watson. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. To throw is Love. Open receiver is Bo Melton. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Here's Love to throw. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Dontavian Wicks. Touchdown, Packer. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. 
not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. A couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. He'll come across the 20 and take him down at the 21-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. And the drive begins with a run by Williams. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. the shotgun it's Stafford this one complete to Atwell and they'll pick up the first down a gain of about four one of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL Mike is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible and sometimes it's by design sometimes it's based on need but really nice job there by the quarterback getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch He'll try again here, second and ten. Back to throw, Stafford. Pass caught right side by Higby. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. A play fit, now Stafford to throw. And on third down, that ball incomplete. There's only a handful of guys in the league who legitimately have world-class speed, and he's one of them. I mean, he's the type of weapon that you three or four times a game have to just say, okay, my guy, he's faster than your guy. We're going to send him deep and let it fly. And even though that one falls incomplete, you have to continue to sprinkle that threat in because it makes everything else in your passing game that much easier. And he's going to have the Rams first down as they wind up getting 13 on fourth down. Throwing again is Stafford. Open man is Robinson. And they'll get about half what they needed to pick up a five and sets up second and five. The to the air again Stafford he'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete this has really been the story of this entire game Mike I mean this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump and they've already recorded a couple of sacks a handful of close calls and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame it's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And he cannot get the throw off. He's going to be sacked. And they will turn it over on down. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. Here we go. Hut, hut. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. Finding space inside the 40. And he'll be taken down. 
Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. You can just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. Throwing on second down, Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. From the gun, it's Love. That complete to Jacobs. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. On play action, Love. And this is going to be a touchdown. They are going to extend the lead here in the final minute of play. We might need a calculator before this one is done. It has been one-sided, and the route rolls on, Greg. Absolutely, Mike, and they just keep piling on the points. I mean, this offensive play caller, he's saying, it's never enough. I'm going to try to score with every possession, and we've seen him do that all game long. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. A safe kick taken at the five. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Rams offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush the quarterback's uncomfortable the clock gets sped up he's got guys in his face it's a lot easier to play defensive back in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast and right now they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. 13 yards to start that drop and a quick first down Working out of the gun, Stafford. That's to the right side and incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. After back-to-back -back incompletions, they now face third down. And 10. Again, it's Stafford. And that final throw here is intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. So, it's a win for the Packers. And it is their third consecutive victory. They continue to play great football here in this latest stretch. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, 
we say so long, everyone.